Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. We are only a couple of weeks away from WrestleMania, man. It is building up strong. We are so close, I can feel it. And well, we are being joined by Kurt Angle here. Kurt Angle, who's... Well, he's only wanted one thing, people, one thing. And that is his shot at the title, which it does not look like he's getting any time soon. There was constant distractions last week by Angle and Triple H in that match between Rock and Test. Now, I was feeling a little angry tonight. Then I got that phone call. You see... It turns out your Olympic hero is going to get exactly what he wants. I can't overstate the amount of times I have been overlooked so far in this new year. But that is over now. After Triple H decided to put himself in the main event of WrestleMania along with the Raw contest. Well... I got a little phone call from Linda McMahon. You see, she is smart. And there's no Vince or Shane here to do the right thing. So Linda's done it for us. Your Olympic hero is going to be in the main event of WrestleMania because that match is now a fatal four-way elimination match. There's nothing I can't do, and that is for damn sure. I have done everything there is in this company, and now I'm going to main event WrestleMania, and I'm going to get my belt back. And as for tonight, Triple H, me and you are going one-on-one -on -one as booked and ordered by Linda McMahon herself. And as for you, Test and Rock, you watch very closely tonight and see what I do to Triple H because at WrestleMania, I'm going to tap all three of you out to become World Wrestling Federation Champion once again. And man, that is some huge news. <clears throat> Kurt Angle has been added. We have got a fatal four-way elimination match at WrestleMania. Kurt Angle, Triple H, The Rock, and Test. And if you're new to this, yes, I said Test. <laughs> well, I did try to download a Linda McMahon, but I couldn't find one. Oh, that's right, I forget Boss Man's got weird music in this, not got his attitude music. Well, Big Boss Man is going to be in one-on-one -on -one action here as well. We are in the mania mood, people. We are two weeks away. We are getting ready for it. And, well, Big Boss Man's got one-on-one -on -one match here against a man who is going to have an absolute dream match at WrestleMania. It happened last week. Hulk Hogan made his return to the World Wrestling Federation and Stone Cold Steve Austin was challenged by Hulk Hogan and those two are going to go at it at Wrestlemania Austin of course though not the type to just walk away left Hogan lying from a Stone Cold stunner he had to get that first lick in and he did Austin stunned Hogan in more ways than one Austin was saying he wasn't sure what he was going to do at Mania. And boss man with a shot there is Austin. Look at Austin here, these shots to the leg. And, oh, big right hand. Look at these shots by Austin right now. And boss man switching it out. Austin, though, back round again. There's Austin. There's 
dumping the mud hole in him. And back up again here. And Stone Cold Steve Austin right now is still beating on the boss man. And oh, he's not done. He's going to continue the mud hole stomping here. And Stone Cold Steve Austin right now dropping the elbow. As uh, I think Austin try to let Hogan know that he is more than ready. His boss man, oh, that DDT there. As Austin rolls to the outside, catches boss man though, right into the announcer's table there. And Austin. And as Austin here is waiting for boss man, who I don't think was, ex well, to be fair, he should have expected Austin to come at him like this. And Austin laying in with the rights. And bringing boss man up here. Boss man though. As, oh, round the back there. As Austin. And Austin. Stone cold stunner connect. As he pulls him away from the ropes. Hooks the leg of the boss man. And Austin picks up the win. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. He opened up a can of wood pass on the big boss man there, didn't he? Here is your winner, and Austin. Stone Cold. Got a huge match coming. Is oh no, wait a minute. And Hogan is in the ring. And oh, he's got he's gone from the back. And Hogan. Taking Austin down to his knees here. And oh, and I think Hogan did not appreciate the Stone Cold Stunner that he was given. As it a bear hug walk down here. As Hogan. And what is Hogan playing at? Hogan. And Hogan. Yeah, he's going to return a favour to Austin as he drops the leg on him. And Hogan. After taking the stunner last week, returning the favour to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dropping that huge immortal leg drop. Right on Austin. Oh, these two aren't wasting time. They've exchanged a hit each. What will happen at Mania when this dream match collides? Well, last week we saw a bit of a balmy kick off with the tag team division, didn't we? As the tag team champions, Chris Jericho and the Godfather, they were laid out by the Dudley boys with steel chairs, only for the Hardys to then run out and put the Dudley boys through tables. The well, the, the Dudleys, of course, laid out Agent Christian through tables a couple of weeks ago. The tag team division is just exploding with violence right now, along with every other division. Wait a minute, up there in the shadows, it's a bit dark, can't really make that out. Is also Edging Christian. And wait a minute, that's Edge in the ring. An Edge. Oh man. And what the hell are they attacking for? An Edging Christian attacking. And wait a minute here. Where the hell is Edge going? 
And Edge is Christian attacking the ring here. And what the hell is Edge going for? Is Edge. And Edge for Edge has got a ladder. And what the hell is. Is all way about it. And watch out, watch out, watch out. And Matt Hardy just gets slammed on it. And what the hell are they doing? It's Edge with a ladder now. There's our Jeff rolling to the outside. Is and what the hell they're picking up? My here and oh my god, that ladder! And Edge going to town right now. Is it Jeff and Jeff? Tried there, but got caught. And oh my good God, did you see that? Oh man, it's Christian and Christian. And Edge now. And oh man, Edge. Edge with steel chair in hand and oh man As look at Jeff fighting back in the inside here And Edge though right there and what is with this beat down on the Hardys? It was the Dudleys that attacked Edge and Christian His edge has got that ladder again. Oh man, off the midsection. An edge right now. An edge. Jesus. This is too much. And look at Matt right now, he's still trying to fight back here. As Christian sent into the steel steps there. As Matt back into the ring. But watch out, his edge is right there. And a spear takes down Matt. As, oh, and he's not done. As he's aiming for him again here. And a second spear. And Edge and Christian just laid out the Hardy Boys now. Oh man, that just about took Jeff out there. Jeff managed to fight back a little bit. He was taken out, man. Beaten down with these ladders. And Edge and Christian, who were attacked by the Dudley Boys. The Hardys took out the Dudley boys and now Agent Christian. I mean, what the hell, man? We got an absolute barney going on with these guys. Agent Christian laying out the Hardys on a ladder tonight. And well, Chris Benoit has asked for this match. He wants his hands on Ken Shamrock. Making Shamrock, of course, has been getting his uh, nose in the business. In Ken Shamrock came out last week to attack the big show by the looks of it. Benoit got in his way, so he dropped Benoit. Benoit ended up winning the match over big show via disqualification, which according to him means he should get a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Shamrock's obviously got his eyes on that IC title. He is a former Intercontinental Into Champion. From Sacramento, California, weighing in at two hundred. Well, here comes Ken Shamrock. Dangerous man, Ken. The world's most dangerous man. 
Well, we've got Triple H and Cut Angle tonight. Should be interesting. Triple H has only just showed up to the arena to find out that the match at Mania is now a fatal four-way elimination match. When asked, when asked, or him and Stephanie, after finding that out, what are you going to do about the tag team division? Stephanie said, what the hell are you talking about? And went, Godfather, Jericho, Hardys, Dudley's Edge and Christian have all been beating each other up with tables, ladders and chairs for the last couple of weeks. And Stephanie just said, good at WrestleMania. All four of them can do that, whatever that means. And wait a minute here. There's Big Show. And Big Show just went right through Shamrock. What the fuck? What the hell? I couldn't even pick up Benoit. <laughs> well, Big Show ran out and dropped Shamrock. I'm going to pretend he hit Benoit as well. <laughs> I couldn't even get the aim to aim on him, man. This game and its aiming system is so bad. Well, Big Show running out during this match and dropping the two of them is Big Show. We didn't even get this match underway, to be honest. We barely started. Well, Chris Benoit not happy with what just happened there. They just stormed, Benoit just stormed into Triple H and Stephanie's locker room and said, what the hell are you going to do about this with Big Show and Shamrock? Triple H told him to shut up and get out of the locker room, said, if you want it so much, then you can go at it in a triple threat match at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. We're getting all kinds of matches made for WrestleMania right now because of how angry Triple H and Stephanie are about Kurt Angle getting into the main event. Is what in the hell is Funaki doing out here? We're meant to be doing a match for the hardcore title. What is he doing? I just realised who was in the ring. It's, we're meant to be having a hardcore championship match right now between Rikishi and the Road Dog, and Funaki is out here. Well, it might take a while to get through that one. Well, it's Road Dog, we know that. <laughs> and well, there's the hard school champion. Won it last week. Road Dog was determined to try and keep this big man down, but it was not happening. No, I don't like this. Funaki's out here. We all know why. It's 24 7, people. I think Funaki's going to get in on the action. I don't know. Well, Rikishi sees Funaki. And Funaki staying out of the way while Rikishi going right after Road Dog. It's Funaki going under the ring here and... Oh, good God. Funaki, who put that ladder back under there? It's Funaki seems to just be watching right now. As in... Oh, God, we've got wood. Is there good at it? It's all man. Looks like Funaki's got his hands on a stick. And... Oh! And Funaki. And oh, Funaki going after the belly of Rikishi. And oh, you get caught. And Rikishi drops Funaki. That's 24 7 rule, man. And oh, Rikishi. As well, Rikishi. Oh, God, what a shot there. Funaki's went right back after that stick and oh god and oh well Funaki with a kick out and 
And oh, Road Dog now. He grabs Funaki here. Funaki though. And Funaki. And oh, Funaki's on the run. <laughs> I think Funaki's wanting nothing to do with this. As Funaki went under the ring again. And Funaki, good God. And oh, Rikishi took it from him again. Oh, wait a minute. Funaki's on the top rope. Both men getting up here. And Funaki fucked up. And an oh, good God! Road Dog now. So many weapons. It's all oh, God. Funaki knows it's Rikishi that he's got to beat. Ah, is it all gone? A bulldog there. If he wants a hardcore title, he's got to take it from Rikishi. He just pushed him into the steel steps there. God, and a second time. And, oh God, a third time. Look at Funaki, man. He's playing the long game. And, oh, God, he got begin. And Funaki. And Road Dog. And, oh, man. And, oh, here comes Rikishi. These guys, man, these shots. As, and oh man, look at Funaki here. Funaki with a tornado DDT. It's thrown, oh, it's dropped the road dog. And Funaki is trying to hook the big leg of Rikishi here. Oh, he got it, Funaki. Funaki is the new hardcore champion! Funaki who just came in. This 24-7 rule man. And Funaki is the new hardcore champion. Oh Funaki you better run. You're gonna be a target for people. He better take that belt and run like the wind. And Funaki is celebrating. Is oh good God, watch out! And oh no, there's Eddie and Eddie. And isn't it? It's Eddie Guerrero. He just hit him over the head. And Eddie, oh God, Eddie. Oh no, we're in the gorilla position. Eddie with Funaki. Oh, he just put him through a table as he pins him. One, two, three. Eddie Guerrero is the new hardcore champion. Oh God. This is exactly what Eddie done before to win the hardcore title. He had in the gorilla position. Oh man. Eddie's the new hardcore champion. Poor Funaki. Oh man, just when Funaki looked like he had it. Well, this one, people, Jacqueline straight up challenged China to her face to a match tonight. China said she didn't care. Jackie slapped her in the face and says, You're just scared to find out that I'm more of a woman than you. 
So Jacqueline heading to the ring. She's straight up challenged China to a match here. <clears throat> as China seems to think she is above the women's division. And well. And her there is the ninth wonder of the world. Former Intercontinental Champion. And China making her way to the ring here. Now well, here we go. And China, man. <laughs> Just a big right hand there. And China straight away off of that right-handed shot. Oh man, look at the strength of China. She is just holding Jacqueline in the air. And what a suplex. And oh, Jackie. Tensing up there as well. Brought back is China. And wait a minute. There's the women's champion, the woman that wants China, wants a match with her. And well, China wants nothing to do with her in the slightest is. Oh, watch out, watch out. Jackie, Jackie, shoulders down, shoulders down on China, shoulders down on China, and Jacqueline. Oh my God, Jacqueline just beat China. Oh my god. Oh man. And, oh no, no, no. China, China. China didn't like it. And oh man. And the Lundra Blaze is just watching here. And oh god. And, oh, China didn't like it. China did not like it. And oh! Now watch out, Jackie! And oh, wait a minute. Oh no, China. China just spotted that steel chair. And oh my god! China with the steel chair. And off the ring post is look at Alundra Blaze. She is just watching here. As China is demolishing Jacqueline right now. Man, oh man. China not happy at being embarrassed by Jacqueline there. Good God. There's Alundra Blaze. China not happy at that loss. And well, we are being joined by Jake. Jake the Snake with that assault on The Undertaker last week. Jake the Snake here. I guess you all enjoyed what happened last week, eh? When I beat down The Undertaker, I bludgeoned him with that bat and showed him who the real Lord of Darkness was. Undertaker, you got yourself your match at WrestleMania. Me and you, finally one-on-one. -on -one. And Taker, I'm going to show you why you were too weak to lead the ministry. Why I had to take over. Why I ended up running the show while you were away. You think you're going to step over me? At WrestleMania, that is not going to happen. You might have taken down the ministry. You might have taken down your own brother. Your own brother 
who won't even stand by my side anymore, proving that he is a coward. I will take you down, Undertaker. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this could end. This could end very badly. Where is he? There he is. Undertaker's going to get Jake the Snake at WrestleMania. Well, Taker's putting his hands up. He's telling Jake. He's telling him, don't worry, Undertaker, I don't think he's out here for a fight. Hey, moron. You don't have to worry. I'm not out here to kick your ass. I'm going to do that at WrestleMania. I'm just out here to shed some light on you. Wow, somebody doesn't look happy. Do you have a sore stomach? Did I hit you a little too hard with that baseball bat? I'm not here like some arrogant idiot. I'm here to kick ass and take names. See, this is my yard, Snake, and I've been proving that by taking down that entire ministry since I came back. And you know, you know, Triple H and Stephanie are in a very giving mood tonight. Oh, you need to shut your mouth. What are you on about? You know, I don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust you, Undertaker. I don't like you being this close to me. I can stand out here and prattle on. Hell, I could punch you in the face and beat you down right now. But I'm going to do it in the grandest stage of them all, Snake. Undertaker. The Snake. Hell in a cell. Uh, Jake, Jake the Snake seems to be completely stumbled right now. Jake the Snake is completely lost for words right now. He's got... He doesn't know what to say. He's going to be in hell in a cell with The Undertaker. I want to know what you think of that, Snake. What do you have to say? I'm going to get my revenge on you, you little coward. I am going to drag you through hell. I'm going to give you hell inside. Hell, I might take you to the top of hell and throw you right off it. Aye. I'm, I'm not interested in this conversation anymore. Aye. You, you want to go to hell in a cell, Undertaker. I'll, I'll beat you at your own game. I'll, I'll beat you at it. <laughs> uh, Snake, you... You sound... scared. And that's what you're going to be at Hell in a Cell in WrestleMania. You are going to be a scared little puppy dog when I make you rest in peace for good. An Undertaker just putting the fear in Jake the Snake Roberts. He has put the fear in him tonight. Hell in a cell at WrestleMania. Well, main event time, people. Triple H has not been happy tonight. The matches we've had made for WrestleMania. We've now got a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. We've got a four-team ladder match at WrestleMania for the tag titles. And we've got a hell in a cell. WrestleMania is going to be crazy.
as it looks like the Rock and Test are joining us at ringside for this one. As Triple H going to go one on one with Cut Angle right now after the match they had a few weeks ago. Triple H with the blatant low blow in that match. Now cut angle, Linda McMahon added cut angle to the main event of WrestleMania. As cut angle. See, Test and Rock are going to be watching this one. Test, who beat The Rock last week, man. Test is ready for WrestleMania. As cut angle making his way to the ring. Triple H is grabbing a microphone right now. And he's telling Angle, he's telling Angle, you go in your corner, you stay over there. He's telling, he's telling Rock and Test, I want you in this ring right now because I want you to heal this. Get in this ring right now as Rock and Test are, well, they're climbing in. And, oh, watch out. And what the hell is an Angle? Jumps into Triple H going for the Rock. And cut Angle and Triple H. What the hell is this? As they are beating them down right now. His Rock and Test are trying to fight back here. And oh man, what a shot. And cut angle right now. As the Rock is trying to fight back here. Man, oh man, look at Test. He really is trying to fight back. As Test. Watch out. And Triple H is right there, right on the table. What is this, man? Is this an absolute trap? I don't know what is going on here. But Cut Angle and Triple H have went straight for these guys. And oh, and Angle just took down the official. And oh man, watch out, watch out. Because The Rock is still fighting back here. And look at Test. And Tess now. And oh man, they are fighting back. They are fighting back. Look at them go. It's cut angle. An angle though. And cut angle. And cut. This is just a beat down. That is all this is. Look at these two. It's Triple H now. It's Triple H. Looking under the ring here. And oh, Triple H has got what he wanted. His test is down on the outside. And this was the plan all along. They weren't facing tonight. As, and look at the rock. Trying to fight back here. But Triple H. That sledgehammer in hand as he is doing the job. We have seen what Triple H can do with that hammer. And oh no, 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 oh no, no, not the hammer, not the hammer, oh no, the pedigree. That was a trap all along to beat down the rock and test. Man, did they fight back, but that was nothing but a beatdown. 
The sledgehammer was used, the pedigree. This was nothing more than these two getting to beat them up. Triple H and Cut Angle. Oh yeah, they're on the same page now. These two seem to change alliances with each other every single week. Well, it's going to be a fatal four-way at WrestleMania for the WWF Championship. That is for damn sure. But these two wanted to take down The Rock and Test tonight. That is what their plan was. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. And I'll see you in the go-home show to WrestleMania, the next episode.